December 23rd marked 10 years of sobriety for me. I haven't felt the urge to drink in quite a long time. I can sit in a bar with the smell of booze and feel nothing at its strongest pool. But most of the time, I feel a combination of mild disgust and gratitude. Now, the disgust isn't a moral judgment, but rather a physiological reaction. <clears throat> After all, alcohol is a poison and a carcinogen. All things considered equal, age, level of fitness, and pre-existing conditions, the only thing worse for your health is smoking. After not ingesting the substance of alcohol for many years, I take it that my body can recognize that it's bad for me and reacts accordingly. I imagine this is similar to the experience of smelling country air for the first time after living in a crowded city. At first, it smells awful. Then gradually, you realize that the overstimulation of the artificial superficiality of city living has numbed your senses. Before you know it, sleeping in a city is impossible because it's too bright, noisy, and stressful. I had a similar experience to this when I lived in Portugal. For the first half of my six-month stay there, we lived on the outskirts of Lisbon in a small town called Pared. Very kind of country. Certainly, at the very least, not uh, super dense. A suburb is better. Anybody in Pared, you're not country. But when we moved to Porto, we were dead smack in the center of the city. And I tell you, it was so noisy, even in a much smaller uh, city like Porto relative to Lisbon. But we were smack in the middle of the city. Now, as for the gratitude, I'm just happy I recognized my issue and did something about it. Prisons and graveyards are full of people who only realized they had a problem when they did something irreversible while under the influence of alcohol. Sometimes I like to imagine an alternate timeline where I didn't stop drinking. This visualization always leads to loneliness, poverty, prison, or death. I was an alcoholic. By even the most liberal definition, I had a problem. But for the past 10 plus years, I haven't had a drink. Now, it's customary for many sober people to say they are in recovery. But what exactly does that mean? Taken literally, it means they are healing from addiction. Like any healing process, it requires the absence of the agent of destruction. If you keep walking on it, you can't recover from a broken leg, for example. But once the leg is fully healed, after some time, you can walk on it again without protection or assistance. So does the alcoholic ever fully recover? And if so, what does that look like? Now, before I get to that answer, I'd love for you to like, subscribe, or share this video with someone who you think will get something out of it. Let's continue. I consider myself fully recovered and I'll never drink again. But why? <coughs> For the same reason that I don't eat tree nuts, even though I've recovered from anaphylactic shock several times, I'm highly allergic to tree nuts. I can't do anything about the genetics that nearly kills me every time I eat a pecan, but I can avoid them. This line of thinking is no different than how we look at any other disease. You can recover from the flu, but the flu still exists and you will suffer if you become infected again. I view recovery in the same way. Now, a person can get addicted to anything, drugs, alcohol, sex, food, video games, you name it. The defining feature of addiction is when you continue the behavior despite the negative consequences you suffer. There are variations in what each person's reward system responds to, but anyone can become addicted to anything. But this doesn't mean that we're all addicts. I once knew a guy who tried crack on a few occasions and stopped because he just didn't like it. His reward system obviously wasn't attuned to crack. Or look at it this way. If someone has a propensity to become addicted to drugs but never tries them, does that mean that that person is an addict? Addiction, like allergies, is so complex that we don't fully understand it. 
I can't ever recover from my allergies in the same way that people can't ever recover from their dopamine-driven reward-seeking behavior system that leads to many addictions. However, I can recover from the effects and avoid what stresses me out and causes me to suffer from those effects. We recover from damage in the same way, but the conditions that cause the damage are beyond our control. I will never recover from the part of me that responds to alcohol in a way that leads to alcoholism, just like I will never recover from my allergic reaction to tree nuts. But I have recovered from alcoholism. Those are two separate things. One person's alcohol addiction is another person's opioid, porn, or gambling addiction. Anyone can get addicted to anything. People even get addicted to a work or the gym. You can't cure or recover from that only from the damage and dependency on the substance. I've done that. But how can I be so confident about this? Well, for starters, I don't drink and I don't have the desire to drink. and I haven't had that desire in almost 10 years. I've made amends for all the behavior I have done, <clears throat> all the actions I've taken while under the influence of alcohol that even remotely hurt people. And I've apologized to them all. Well, the ones who would listen anyway, just because you apologize doesn't mean a person has to listen or even take it. But I've tried. I've written a book to try and help people get through sobriety. I've gone back and talked to meetings or talked at meetings to people who are new to the game of getting our booze. And I provide encouragement and support whenever I can. By all measures, not only have I recovered but I've taken responsibility for my life and my actions, not just while under the influence in the form of apologies, but afterwards in the form of all the help that I can give. And if you're interested in more help, there's a link in the description where we can set up some coaching to help you deal with whatever addiction you're dealing with. Now, in closing, I want to make sure my point here is clear. Everyone is a potential addict or no one is. That's the way our brains work when it comes to addiction. You can't recover from that any more than you can recover from a genetic defect. However, you can recover from the harmful manifestations of your internal wiring. And sometimes, depending on the cofactors of your addiction, therapy, counseling, and even a change in environment can also be highly effective at managing it. But you can never fully recover from the addiction, just the manifestation of it. You can only recover from how you've dealt with it.